The only food that I can find evidence of memory B cells that are there forever is gluten. Not eggs, not dairy, not soy, nothing else. Here's the problem. And Fasano explained it really well in the article, All Disease Begins in the Leaky Gut. He said, gluten is misinterpreted as a harmful component of a microorganism. The sentry standing guard looks at the amino acid structure, and because no human can digest wheat completely into amino acids, no human can. That's one of the deficits. So it gets broken down into these clumps of amino acids called peptides. And these, there are many, 62 different clumps of these amino acids in wheat that have been identified to stimulate the immune system to make inflammation, right? So the sentry sees this food coming into the intestine that looks like a bug. And so it activates this whole inflammatory cascade immediately within five minutes because gluten is misinterpreted as a harmful component of a bug. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. A harmful component of a microorganism. So now you've got the memory B cell. If that bug ever comes back, we're going to kill it, mm -hmm. right? Right away. That's the only food. So no, you can't cheat. You can't be a little pregnant. You can't have a little gluten because the memory B cell, the gluten is going to activate. And once it flips the switch, you've got antibodies for two to three months from one exposure. 